Hi there YouTubers, time for another weaving video. Um, and the what I'm making is unimportant for what I want to show you this time around. Um, so, <coughs> gonna aim the camera down in just a minute, show you what I've got on the loom. The thread I'm using is 8-4 carpet warp and I've got it in two colors. Uh, they're brown and orange, kind of fall colorish. And I'm working on some dish towels. Just, I've never done dish towels out of carpet warp before and I thought it's worth a try. But what I want to show you is how I'm changing colors in the sense that going back and forth between the brown and the orange. The pattern I've got set up is basically I'm making checkers out of this and so I'm going with 22 threads of brown then 22 threads of orange then 22 of brown then 22 of orange and that same thing occurs in both the warp and the weft. Now in the warp it's no problem at all to change colors because they're just there. But in the weft what I don't want to do is have to at the end of 22 threads of going back and forth the weft I do not want to have to snip off one and tie on another or double up an extra and have an extra thread in there. So what I'm trying to do is carry the unused color forward along one of my selvage edges and I thought what I would do is show you how I'm doing that. I also on this the the pattern I'm using is a very simple point twill so I've got a floating selvage on each side so let's just aim you down take a look at what I've got on the loom and then I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit more and show you how I'm um, going around the extra thread to um, carry forward the unused color. So here we go down at the material and maybe we'll even zoom in just a little bit. So you can see I've got two colors. The brown is in the darker brown uh, shuttle. The orange is in the nice lighter shuttle. And you can see here I've got a, right there, this is all brown. Then here's where the brown and the orange intersect. Now I'm into all, all brown again. And here's all orange. So brown, orange, brown, orange. And I've, I'm go, I've gone about halfway through this set of oranges. So I'm going to put the brown up on top of the castle of the loom. I'm going to move that one out of the way and let's put the um, temple on to help a little bit with drawing so find the right petals to be at Maybe this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I hope you can see this let's get some more light well, I found another light, so I think it'll work. Hopefully you can see that this is the brown thread, which, you see it by my hand there? That's the one I'm not working with right now, and this is the orange that I am working with. And I'm going to go back across with the orange, just take a shot to there and now I'm gonna the orange caught the brown right here and pulled it in so I'm just gonna pull it back out beat go back across and I'm coming out underneath the selvage I go in over the top of the selvage on one side and come out the other side underneath it like that beat and now because I came out in back of the brown, I'm going to pull it around the front and go through again from the front or the top of the brown and pull that like that. So what I in effect do is 
wrap around that brown and if, in fact it almost makes it like an extra floating salvage. But I gotta keep pulling it out like that. So that's what I'm accomplishing. And then I never have to change that. Now that's the end of my oranges. I'm going to switch now to a um, brown. So let's zoom you out just a little bit. Put the orange up on top. And hopefully you can see the thread going in front of my hand there. And I will push down just this way and go. Now we'll start with the brown, our 22 threads. One. Two. Over the top, the around the orange. Three. And pull it out. Four, five, six, seven, eight. See how I'm always going around this one? I come out this way and go around on top from this way. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now I'm reversing the point in the point twelve, so I'll go back to eleven. There's my 22 threads of brown. Now I'm going to take the orange down, put the brown up on top on the castle, and move the advance the temple. And I can start out again. One. Well, you get the idea. So what I've done is to wrap, in this case where I'm doing the brown, that one orange piece. Let's really zoom you in. I don't know if you can see it or not. 
but here where I'm doing the orange, the brown pieces on the edge, and here where I'm doing the brown, you can see that the orange from the very last row of weft got carried forward as if it were a, a salvage warp up to the next place where I'm going to do orange. So that's how, rather than having to tie or cut and add in again, I'm just carrying my unused color forward. So that's just a technique that I've found that works for me um, when I have to switch colors on a regular basis. And there we are, YouTubers. That's how I uh, carry a, a colored thread forward on one selvage edge as I'm weaving when I have to switch back and forth fairly frequently. I mean, 22 threads is, is not a lot. You can see it didn't take me long. So that's the method I use. Um, other people may have their own ways of doing this. Your mileage may vary, right? But that's my way. And I just thought I'd share that with you. So we'll get around to doing a more interesting project in the not too distant future, I hope. But this is what I'm doing right now. If you like my videos, I'd appreciate you subscribing. And if you're all a, already a subscriber, thanks a million. Meanwhile, bye-bye.